right. Let's begin seated. Find a little movement, just kind of moving from one sit bone to the other. Maybe even forward and back. Maybe hold your knees and really stretch your back way back. Maybe some circles. And then allow yourself to land in a nice, comfortable seated position. Let's pretend we have that string at the crown of the head, gently pulling us up, finding that neutral spine. Relax in the shoulders, down away from the ears. Feeling your foundation gently pressing down and then rising energy going up. Taking deep breaths in through the nose. And then let's exhale out the mouth. Nice gentle sigh. In nose. And out. One more. Relax your legs, the forehead, cheekbones, the jawline, your lips. back of your neck by drawing the chin in slightly. And see if you can draw the awareness and attention towards the stomach, cultivating belly breaths, belly button reaching forward or belly expanding with the inhale and then relaxing with the exhale. Concentrate on that for a few breaths. Notice if there's any tension in your face, forehead, jaw, eyes. going to continue to the square breath. So the square because we're going to inhale for four seconds. We're going to hold it for four seconds and then we exhale for four. We hold that exhale for four and then we continue. We're going to do that three times. So think of a box, okay? I'll guide you into inhale, exhale. You're going to be slow counts. So let's begin with the inhale. Pause breath. Exhale nose. Pause that breath out. In nose. Pause. Out nose. Pause. In nose. Relax the chest, the shoulders, the face. Hold the breath. Relax, relax. Exhale, nose. Pause. In nose. And then side out. Natural breath in and out your nose and notice any tension on the legs, the face, anywhere else in the body. Noticing the moment, we notice the floor, the body, the breath, or sound. One hand heart, one hand belly, chin in slightly, bowing to yourself, calling in your personal intention. And 
deep breath in and sigh it out. Gently opening eyes, release the hands and extend our legs forward and shake them out. Circle around ankles, spread toes. Let's crisscross the legs the other way so that you have the other leg in front. Changing it up. Let's go to our neck, saying hello. Inhale, gently looking up, stretch the front. And then exhale, gently change the chest, stretch the back. We'll do that two more times for a total of three. In mindful movements, just noticing. Noticing the range of motion. I slip with my soft rollers on, so I have stiff neck now. <laughs> Let's say no, side to side. So I gotta be extra slow and careful. Back to center, drawing that neck forward and then back in. Forward and in, keeping our chin parallel to the floor. Awesome, and let's keep that neck in. So drawing the ear, right ear to the right shoulder, reach your left hand down and kind of walk it up. Inhale, and then exhale, start to draw that chin in towards the chest. Breathe in and then breathe another deep breath into that side of the neck, inhale. And then exhale, continue down the middle, and then look up down the center. Nice. Let's go over to the other. Left ear towards the left shoulder, but relax that left shoulder. Don't bring the left shoulder out to the ear. Right hand down to the floor and kind of walk it out. Big inhale. And exhale, drawing that right shoulder away from the right ear. And then the chin starts to draw down, more diagonal. Deep breath there. And then draw the chin down the middle and then lift your head up the center, just like that. Shoulders up, inhale. Exhale out mouth and drop. Two more. Last one. To the wrists, circle them around. Sun breaths, reaching out and up, big inhale. Circle. Making fists, we'll do again, another sun breath. With fists. Bring the arms halfway up, release the fist, bend, open. Ending at the elbow, try and circle in, maybe one arm, the other. Both, in and then out. You can do some wrist circles here too. And shake, shake, shake. All right, we're going to use our fingertips to kind of massage your scalp, okay? So massage your scalp. Remember, do the sides, do the back, towards the base of the skull. Nice little circle. It's hard to do because I have this headset on in the middle. And then we're gonna take it down to our forehead. And you can do like this with your fingertips, like gentle little taps on the forehead, your temples, the eyebrows, underneath the eyebrow, underneath the eye, all around, maybe some massage here on the um, jaw, circles one direction and the other. And then down. And then towards your chin, gently pulling it down. We're gonna use our index finger. It's gonna go here on the nose, up and down. Like this. Like you're creating a triangle here with your fingers. You go up and down the ridge of the nose right here. Okay. And then we'll do that yoga for the face. Squeeze, open. Look up, look down, look to the sides, moving your eyes. Maybe sticking your tongue out. Nice smile. 
and release. All right, shake, shake, shake. Reach your arms out. Let's go over down towards the torso now, reaching side, side, and just noticing sensation here on your back also. Take it over to one side, plant, flip, and oh, stretch it out. Reach back, big inhale, open, exhale, close. Remember this arm that's on the floor can be straight or bent maybe. You can straighten and bend. Center, inhale, to the other side. Stretch. You can stay here in stillness, right? You can reach, reach, reach and stay or maybe invite movement back and forth. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Back center, hands to the shoulders. Let's do our breath. So start picking up the pace here. We're gonna inhale nose, exhale nose or mouth, you decide. So it's a very, very short inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Finding rotation, you can keep your head forward so that you're just moving here, shoulders and thoracic spine, or you can move your head as well. Back center, and then release your hands towards your knees, palms facing up. Take a moment to feel. Nice internal smile. And slowly release, hands can go back down to the floor behind you, extend your legs forward and shake them out. We're gonna bring one foot in like this, after we've already touched our face first, now we can touch our feet. So we're just gonna grab the foot and just kind of circle it around. One direction and the other. Finding mobility and movement here in your ankle. Circles one direction, circles the other. Something else you can try, if you can, is bring your fingers in between your toes, okay? You've seen those like uh, yogi toes things, so to separate the feet, I need to do that because from my grandmother and my mom and every my big toe is drawing in and it's lifting one of my toes so i need to be wearing those things throughout the day to separate my toe but this is a really nice thing to do also circle it and then you're going to kind of pull your toes like that now okay get a massage both hands using your thumbs, activating all the nerve endings we have at the bottoms of our feet. And then release that foot. Feel right foot, left foot. Left foot is jealous. Let's bring it in and find some circle. Have the foot above your knee, not on your knee. One direction and the other. Checking in any sensation in your ankle and then we've got fingers between toes <laughs> might feel a little weird at first and then continue your circles giving some love to your toes your feet working for you all day long and then we're gonna pull and release good job Flex, demi point, point. They're awake. Some things you can start to do um, when you're sitting, if you're in your, um, you know, your desk, is to try and kind of do the ABCs with your with your feet to find movement and wake up your ankles. Okay, so try to do the ABCs with your foot. All right, let's go on to our knees and finding your tabletop position. That works for you this morning. Maybe fingertips, fingers. Maybe you bring the tops of the hands here so you can give your wrists a nice little gentle stretch. Maybe you turn your fingers out, maybe even back behind, just checking in. Giving now some love to our hands. And then find your stance here. All right, neck forward. Neck in, we'll do that three times. We already did it sitting, just do it again to notice 
how does it feel when I have that forward head posture? To make sure you remind yourself to bring it back in, shoulder blades towards each other and away from each other. Keep those shoulders away from each other, gliding out towards the tailbone up and down. As the tailbone goes up, relax the stomach. As it goes down, contract, drawing it up and down. Find circles to the right and then circles to the left. Find neutral spine and let's find our cat cows. Big cat cows, putting it all together. Take your time here. We're going to do about 30 seconds of our cat cow sequencing here. Flexion extension, lateral flexion, and circles. Move at your own pace. And once you're feeling you're complete here, let's bring it back to neutral. And now let's go back down to the toes. Already warm them up and move them. We gave them some love before we're gonna give them torture. <laughs> Remember, if this is too much for you, we'll sit up like this, hips over knees. Otherwise, if we can sit, let's find neutral here. Let's draw the ribs in, maintaining our neck in. And let's um, find some uh, a stretch here for our shoulders and upper back. So right arm under, bend and reach. If at any point this feels uncomfortable to you, you can just bring the hands to your shoulders. You're giving yourself a nice big hug, okay? Otherwise, top of the hands, back of the hands or the palms together. Elbows more or less in line with shoulders and then very slowly drawing the hands away from you. And you'll feel, you feel where your edge is. The elbows are drawing in towards each other. Nice opening in the upper back. Neck is in, ribs are in. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Relax the jaw, the face. One more, inhale. And exhale. Let's release the hands down to the floor. Go ahead and lift your feet, point your toes, and gently tap. Keep your toes pointing back. Sit back. If you need to bring the knees closer together and the feet, please do so that your sit bones are right on your heels, heels pointing up. Same thing, find your neutral through the pelvis here, ribs and neck in. Now let's do the other arm underneath. Left under, unless you did this before, then do the other. Elbows up in line with shoulders as much as you can. It feels it's okay if they stay down, right? You gotta check where you are in your shoulders, hands away from you, okay? Now check your posture. Deep breath, the elbows are drawing in, opening back, upper back, big inhale, and exhale. Let's do one more like that. Slowly release. Hands back down to the floor. This time, lift your feet and circle the ankles. Feel that nice um, flushing down blood in your feet. Feel the warmth. Feet to the floor, walk it back. This one's also going to be for feet and ankles and your Achilles here, but we're also getting into our hips, right? For a nice squat here. So let's explore and take our time here. Plug in your armpits into your knees. One of my favorite is to like kind of hold on to a pole or something here. And then I just kind of sit back. <laughs> and then I just find that nice traction there. So you can just kind of try reaching your hands forward as you kind of pretend as if you're sitting back. And once you've had enough of that, if you want to try two point base, meaning palms together and um, you can bring it to the crown of the head or maybe to the forehead. Now notice the weight distribution on your toes and feet. Is it more towards your big toe, 
Is it even all the way towards the pinky? Find that. And then let's bring the hands down. Turn your toes out, knees out. And now we're gonna be more like even almost touching heels or chest, create space between the heels, doesn't really matter. Reach your hands forward, reach your hips back, relax the head, deep breath. Now tuning into where the sensation moves now. Where is your stretch? In every moment you're listening to the body, the body's telling you messages, like a sensation might be, uh, might feel not very sustainable very wise for you and so you decide you know what I'm gonna just modify and do it different nice let's bring the hands a little closer maybe even to the knees let's see if we can press down so we root we set roots into the feet and then we rise maybe lifting off our heels a little bit here that's gonna turn on your quadriceps make sure there's no pain on your knee okay if there is don't push you even keep the hands on the floor. Let's see if we can bring the arms out to the sides and then up, big inhale. We can bring the palms together in prayer to the crown of the head. May we know a truth to the forehead. May we see it to the lips. May we speak our truth and to the heart. May we feel truth. And then slowly back down to the floor. Let's allow the knees to go forward, back down. This should feel real nice. Release your toes back and then nice dancing lion. Go ahead and explore going both directions on your own. Reach back and roll forward, rolling wave. Activating the abdominal muscles. So as you're going forward or drawing in, notice that my back is in that flexion position. I'm also kind of pushing that ground away, stretching, and then back. Allow this to be mindful and feel, move slow. You might do like one or two really slow, really intentional rolling waves. Or you might do a little faster. You might want to add some push-ups here, right? Working on your triceps. Now, what is the best way to do a push-up here? That's gonna be really different for everyone. You can try your classic push-up where our elbows push out. Your hands are gonna be a little wider, okay? You can come down just halfway or maybe just however much you can for you. Elbows pointing back. Once you've had enough, we're gonna bring it down to the floor. Allow the forehead to go down and relax here for a moment and feel now the front of your body, on top of your feet, your quadriceps, the stomach, all the way up to the forehead on the floor. Press firmly onto the floor with your feet Activating your quads, activating glutes, and lifting head for cobra. Very light on your hands, utilizing thoracic spine muscles, and then lift, and down. Use your legs, use your glutes to help you lift here. Maybe no hands, and then back down. Go ahead and extend both arms forward, and draw them in into a sphinx position. In the sphinx position, your arms are in the bent 90. We look forward, inhale, big belly breath, pressing in onto the floor, and then exhale, chin back in, activating the abdominal muscles and now lifting them off the ground. So it's the opposite action. Inhale, look forward or up, and exhale, let's drive back in. One more. And exhale. This next one, we can stay in the Sphinx, or if it's too much for you, elbows to the sides, hand to hand, forehead hands. Okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bend, gonna flex the right foot, bend and drive in. Like we're doing 
hamstring curls, okay? Back in and down. We'll do that five times. So two more. If you'd like to combine the breath with the movement, see when you wanna inhale, when do you wanna exhale? And then down. Let's switch it out. Flex the other, right in. one five and down good job elbows open to the sides one hand on top of the other forehead to the hands shimmy your hips and your shoulders let's frame the chest Curl your toes, knees on the ground. Let's do a push up and lift those hips when you come up, okay? Now lift your knees, finding full plank. Reaching heels back and then kind of going back and forth a little bit on your toes and then find your spot. Strong here, core connection, legs. Draw that neck in. Relax the face. About 10 more seconds here. Use your fingertips here. Use the whole hand. Notice where the weight is. Very slowly shifting it back into a down dog. You can bend those knees, push back. Walk the feet forward if you'd like. Bend your legs as if you want to bring the belly to the thighs. And then start to pedal the feet up and down. Twist it out side to side. So I want you to think about keeping your spine neutral here so you don't go into too much extension in your down dog. I think of like when we're standing and I tell you, keep the ribs in, neck in. Same, same here. Paddling the feet up and down. Start to walk the feet closer towards each other. Draw your left heel towards the ground and then lift your right leg, leading with the right heel, flexed foot, hip square three-legged dog reaching without opening the hip just feel here demi point point your foot if you'd like and when you're feeling like you'd like to explore open hip go ahead and open the hip stack it over left do you want that leg straight or bent you can try both and then check what happened here with your shoulders elbows and then especially that back heel the left heel is it turning out or is it still pointing back Let's reset the hip, foot down to the floor. Shift forward for a plank, inhale, look up. Exhale, back we go. Now we're gonna keep that right foot towards the middle, heel to the floor, leading with your left heel, lifting, three-legged dog. Hips are square. Flex, semi point, point that left foot. Be mindful of your right heel, pointing back. And then maybe opening the hip, stacking. Leg straight or bent. Reset, foot down to the floor. Separating your feet, hips distance apart. Let's do calf races here. Heels high and then heels down. As they go down, let's see if we can lift our toes. Heels high, heels down, lifting toes, any amount. Up and down. We do this five times. Let's do two more. Activating your calves. All right, let's lift the heels and start to tip it to your way forward towards the hands. Maybe even walk the hands back. Go ahead and bring your hands above your knees and gently push yourself up halfway up here. Drawing that neck in, ribs in. Connecting with your legs, quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes turn on, core turns on. Drawing that lower abdomen in, gentle pelvic floor activation. Let's see if we can allow our arms to kind of hang here because we've got our whole core supporting us here in our legs, okay? 
and then let's go into a little flexion with the spine we draw the tailbone down chin in and we roll up the spine go ahead and give yourself some shoulder rolls when i move my camera up and forward all right let's go for five microcosmic orbits here let's find that neutral through the um, pelvis here ribs in neck in the arms go out and up big inhale we're gonna hold the breath at the top so if we want we can do that box breath again inhale for four hold for four slowly exhale for four and the hands go down the middle like this like you're pushing the energy down Okay, so that's what's happening and then we'll hold it for four. Let's do that. If you'd like, you can add more work to your feet. Uh, again, lifting, heels high and then slowly down. So we continue those calf raises. And then the energetics, internal energetics is uh, the bandhas. So pelvic floor engages, the lower abdomen draws in and then the chin draws in. We do that when we're at the top, okay? So relax everything. Let's inhale out and up. One, two, three three, four, hold it, one, two, three, four, exhale and release from the throat, lower abdomen, and then the pelvic floor and the heels go down, hold it out, one, two, three, four, again. Continue three more for a total of five. Go at your own pace. Last one. slowly release natural breath close your eyes for a moment and feel very subtle energy relax in the face all right so now we're going to start to find that nice wave standing and we'll start with the neck so i'm going to just go to my profile because it's easier to see the wave from the side so remember we've been doing this kind of back and forth but that's going to be more like we reach the chin forward and then down and then back in kind of like a little circle like this with our chin okay and this could be very very gentle or maybe bigger so that's kind of like what's happening with our neck with the chest, we're doing that, which we kind of did when we were on all, all fours, right? Except it was mostly just shoulder blades, but now we're gonna do chest back and forth, okay? So we're just gonna go part by part with the neck, and then this is what's happening with the chest. And then with our lower abdomen, we're going back and forth like this, right? So that's kind of like the movement separately. And now we're gonna start to connect the movement into a nice flowy spinal wave we already have this natural wave like right with our spine so now we're just going to move it and if it feels a little bit weird at first that's okay just kind of go with it 
feel it out instead of think it out, instead of thinking and analyzing, and just move and flow and feel it. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. We're gonna find some stillness. And once again, feel. Wonderful. All right, and now it's a little more work for our legs. Our knees are forward, feet about hips distance apart. Go ahead and bend your knees. And just explore here without moving our hips just yet into chair. Turn onto the outer edge of your foot and notice what the knees do. And then turning to the inner arch, notice what the knees do. So you need to pay attention to what your foundation is doing because it's gonna start to change everything else, okay? So firmly pressing onto big toe, little toe, and towards the back of your heel. Go ahead and sit in your imaginary chair back. Oh yay, we're gonna take a break and sit, chest going forward. Or connected, you feel your glutes start to turn on and your legs, hands can go in prayer or we can pretend that we're gonna be pulling. Yeah, we're gonna do 10, five and five. So turn your palms up, turn your glutes on right here, squeeze all the way to the top, find neutral right here. Inhale, press, exhale. We root down and we rise, inhale. Press, exhale, and rise. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Again. And exhale. Let's do five more. We're going to change the arms. Turn the palms down. We're going to pull just halfway now. Squeeze. Last one. Nice job. Let's do one more. Hands forward, maybe up, palms facing each other, biceps by the ears if you want to explore that. Make sure you're drawing the lower abdomen is in, or maybe hands in prayer. Maybe some pulsations up and down. Every time you're squeezing your glutes, up and down, up and down, neck is in. You feel super connected. You could do this right all day long. Because you're in a sustainable position. If you can't do this all along, then maybe we need to rearrange and modify. All right, last one. Bring it up, inhale. Exhale, open heart. Inhale, up. And exhale, hands, pray your heart. Feel, feel the floor. Energy going up your legs, up the spine, out the crown of the head. Nice release. Go ahead and shake out your legs. Let's do something we haven't done in a while, which is the tree pose, okay? So we're gonna draw the weight towards our right foot and let's start like this, with our toe on the floor, heel towards the other, the opposite ankle. Find the neutral here first. Ribs in, neck in. One, hands in prayer. Two, you might be able to slide that foot up and just keep the heel right below the knee here, okay? So you don't have it on the knee. And then three, if you feel like, you know what? I wanna go to that third level. We're gonna grab the ankle and then bring it towards the inner thigh above the knee. And whichever one you're doing, you're drawing towards the midline. So leg to the foot, foot to the leg, okay? Keep the neutral here. Notice if you went into anterior tilt or anything like that with your low back. Ribs in, neck is in. And let's go ahead and bring those palms together. Again, the palms are pressing into the midline. So our legs and then arms, hands pressing to the midline. Find your balance. And then we can start to play with movement. So we can release our hands, maybe bring them out or maybe even up, maybe like a V. 
or maybe the palms together above your head, maybe even bringing them towards the crown of the head. Find your balance. Notice the role that your core plays here to help you balance. And then notice the calibration in that foot on the floor, going out, going in. And then slowly bringing those hands down the middle. Great job. Now let's start to draw that knee forward, whether the foot is on the floor, in the middle, or up top. Bring that knee forward. Extend the leg forward. Flex, demi, point, point. And then lower the leg down. Release and shake out that other foot. You can even just kind of circle around that ankle. Same, same, other side. So let's transfer the weight and let's start here first. So we can find our neutral, lengthening out the crown of the head, hands in prayer, and we can stay here. Or maybe we slide that foot up just below the knee, pressing the foot into the leg, leg into the foot. Or maybe you'll grab the ankle and bring that foot higher. They say that it's best not to have it on the knee so you're not kind of pushing into the knee, makes sense. But again, if you have it there and it's sustainable for you and you're not hurting your knee, that's okay too. It's just that if you're putting pressure, it's best to either do it above or below the knee, okay? Spence are kind of sliding, so my foot is sliding, so I need to press into it a little bit more. Nice. Now make sure that your hips stay pointing forward. Sometimes we open this and the hip kind of goes back. So be mindful of that. And then we can play with our arms. Once you feel you're stable, you got your tree here, grow branches. Maybe the branches go up. Maybe they come together, palms together at the crown of the head. And of course, if you wanna super challenge yourself, go ahead and close your eyes. Notice how windy it gets. Challenging your roots. And then slowly bring it down. And we start to draw the knee forward. Release the foot. Kick the leg forward. Flex the knee, point, point the foot. And lower down. Relax, shake it out. You can even circle around that ankle. We're doing a lot of work on our feet today. And shake it out, shake it out. All right, big inhale, let's rise. Palms together down the middle, exhale, fold it. Halfway up, inhale, lengthen. Hands ground, let's step our left foot back into lunge. Your right foot is more towards your right hand and your left foot is more behind the left hand back. If you've got blocks, this is where they become super helpful and you can have your hands on your blocks instead. Now let's feel that heel reaching way back and the front knee reaching forward, although it's staying right over the ankle, but energetically forward and back. Pelvic floor engagement, very gentle. Lower abdomen drawing in, so activating those bandhas, those energetic locks. And then drawing that neck in. And we can stay here or we can set roots down and maybe the hands lift off the blocks or floor and maybe they go back. Big inhale here. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, bringing those hands back down to the floor or your blocks. Let's see if we can straighten the front leg, release the back heel down. Both legs are straight. So the blocks can even come a little bit higher like this. Or again, if you're not using blocks, hands can be down onto the floor. But both legs are as straight as they can be. So if the front leg, if your hands are on the floor and the front leg's not straightening, just getting a little bit higher on your hands will help with that. Now, some things that you can explore here, I'm gonna start to flex my front foot. So I'm in the front heel only and the toes are lifting. That's gonna be a super deep stretch for the back of your right leg. So again, 
only do it if it feels like it's something you'd like to explore now. So we'll flex and release, flex and release. Let's bend the front leg again. Walk your blocks a little bit further forward or your hands and step your back foot closer. Walk forward again. We're gonna create a tripod between our hands and the front foot. Lift the back leg standing split again those blocks can go higher you might have a bed or a couch in front of you, you can bring those hands there as well okay options here hands on floor or block relax the head maybe right hand towards the right ankle maybe even the left hand maybe maybe not back leg straight or do you want to bend what feels more productive for you do you want to reach through the heel, flex the foot? Or do you want to reach through your toes and point the foot? Do you want to keep your hips square or explore opening? Standing split. Relax the head. I kind of keep my head lifting up a little bit just because my headset falls off. And I'm also trying to look at you in the zoom. And then once you've had enough of that, bend the standing leg, walk your blocks back or your hands back and land back in the lunge where you started. Okay. We're gonna step our front foot back into a plank. Whether your hands are on blocks or the floor, doesn't matter. We're gonna reach back into down dog. It's really easy to do the down dog like this with the hands on the blocks, actually feels real nice. Cause all of a sudden the heels touch the floor, yay. <laughs> All right, and now let's step our left foot forward. Your left foot is more towards your left hand. And your right foot is in line with your right hand towards the back. So we've got lunge on the other side, reaching the back heel way back, front knee forward. Come onto your fingertips here. Core connection, turn on those bandhas, draw that neck in and maybe we root down and rise, bringing those hands back. Find this balance, getting stronger. Notice how that right glute needs to turn on, work for you. Breathe long, slow, deep breaths here. Hands down to the floor or to your blocks. Go ahead and straighten the front leg. That back heel goes down towards the floor. Try to maintain your hips square here. Again, if it's too much work to keep the hands on the floor or it hurts too much or that leg can't straighten, use your blocks, super helpful. And then if you'd like to explore, flex the front foot, bring it back down. Flex, toes in, dorsiflexion, back in and down. Go ahead and bend the front leg. Step the back foot a little closer. Walk your blocks forward, creating a tripod between your hands and that front foot. Okay? And then start to lean forward, lift your back leg. I like to start with the flex foot in the back, so I'm leading with the heel, maintaining the hips in line. Options here, hands right under your shoulders, or maybe left hand to the left ankle, and a little more advanced, hold with the right hand as well and then after a while here you can try pointing the foot and maybe opening the hip and then we'll bend the standing leg slowly stepping the foot back walk those hands back we need to walk the foot back a little bit, we are back in your lunge. Step your front foot back, back into your plank, and hips back into your down dog position. Breathe, breathe. And then slowly, let's bring the knees down to the floor, and then sit back on your heels. Say goodbye to the blocks. Thank you, blocks. Actually, for this next one, if you do have blocks, go ahead and keep them nearby because we're going to use them. 
it's a lot easier to use them. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Our hands in line with the knees, either on the floor or on the blocks like this. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw the chin in, core is connected. We're gonna draw the knees towards the chest and lift our butt up. We're gonna stretch the front of the foot and then slowly bring it down. Make sure that your heels are not turning out. The heels stay up, okay? We're gonna press a little flexion here with the spine rounding. Lift the knees up and stretch the front of your foot and slowly back down. Holding up from the root, so pelvic floor engagement, lower abdomen pulling in and up, okay? Let's do one more. We're gonna press, chin in, knees to the chest, lift your hips a little bit and press and stretch the front of your foot and your toes and slowly release. Good job. Shake out your wrist, circle them around. Now we can remove the blocks, sit on one side and bring your legs forward, spread your toes, shake it out. All right, we're gonna make it to the back now. So kind of wiggle yourself towards the front of your mat. Your legs can be bent, hands in front, big inhale, and then exhale onto the back. Oh my God, we haven't been on the back the whole class. <laughs> <sighs> Invite your knees in, give yourself a nice, well-deserved big hug and rock it out. It's so a little core, knees over hips, ankles to knee, feet together, knees together, or separate it. What feels better for you? Try both. Do it a couple times. Knees in, feel, separate, feel. And then you can either flex, demi point, point your feet, keep them active, or just let them be. Back of the neck is long, core connected, pelvic floor engagement, 30%. Lower abdomen toning in. And keep this activation here as we start to draw our feet forward, knees forward. And notice the moment that it feels like it starts to go on your back and stop. That's your set point. Hold it there. Reconnect with core and breathe. Our head can stay on the floor. If you got one of those blocks and you feel like you're wanting your head on the block, you can do that as well. Keep connecting. Keep feeling transversus abdominals muscle or deep core muscle turning on that internal corset you can also lift the head and have the arms by your side you can do that as well hold 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 do not allow your back to arch you should not be straining face neck shoulders or upper body at all it's all about core here and then slowly release those feet to the floor and relax the whole body. You feel like you wanna windshield wipe your legs, side to side, go ahead. You guys, we have two more of this, okay? So we do a total of three set points. All right, that's enough break. <laughs> Let's bring those legs back to the bent and 90 position. Decide if your head is on the floor or off the floor or on a prop. Connect and then start to draw the feet forward, knees away from the hips so they're no longer on top and find your personal set point and hold. And then notice, notice where you're tensing up. If you're tensing up too much or you're starting to lift your back, maybe your set point, you went too far forward. You should be able to sustain this for about 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds. down, relax the whole body, feel free to move if you like. And we 
got one more last one we lift feet together separate it same with knees connect and up you go Notice if you're clenching at all or kind of straining up on the forehead. Take about 30 45 seconds in a bridge position here of your choice if you've still got blocks around we can lift our hips and then put that block underneath the sacrum for a supported bridge in any position one two or three turning it on any of the sides that work best for you or no blocks and we actually activate our glutes and then work it out a little bit here we can stay up in stillness we can do circles or we can go up and down you can even use our arms going up and over and then back down so go ahead and find the one that works for you today making sure the back of the neck lengthening and supporting slowly find your way down of course if you want to stay there a little longer please do once you land create space and then think about maybe some twists that you'd like to do here this could be keeping your feet so I'm gonna just go through all, all of them your feet can be as wide as your mat and then you draw your knees out to the right kind of like almost twist <laughs> more for your hips here then you can do the other side or maybe you hug both knees in and rock them over to one side you can even straighten those legs or maybe you just do one leg straighten one cross straight that leg or ego legs or a little more active can do heel to knee and then you can open and close the book where we move in and out so choose a twist that works for you that you'd like to explore breathe and feel Once you feel you've had enough on that side, you'll bring it back to center. Maybe you'd like to do a nice little reset between sides. I like to hug the knees in and rock side to side. And then go ahead and try the other side. Long, slow, deep breaths. complete here back to center let's go ahead and straighten the legs up now flex semi point point spread your toes thank you feet thank you ankles thank you toes you can keep them together or separate it you can even explore some kind of straddles opening a little bit more checking in with your hip 
see again if that's okay for you to explore right now didn't do much hip openers today we didn't really work on that so make sure that your um, hips are happy in doing any kind of strat or anything like that flex semi point point circle it around you can stay here a little while longer or if you feel like all right this is enough inversion for me then go ahead and bring one foot down and then the other If there's anything that I didn't do that you wish to explore, go ahead and go for that now. And if you're ready for final resting pose, you can do this with your legs straight, with your legs bent as I have them now. If you've got those blocks still around, one nice thing you can do is bring the bottoms of the feet together and use your blocks like this underneath your knees for a butterfly position. Make sure that tailbone is forward and up so the you're not overarching on your low back here, okay? So use the blocks for support if you wanna do this one, or again, feet flat to the floor, knees up, or your legs straight. Decide where your arms go, either maybe hands to belly, or to the sides, or maybe even up and overhead, kinda like cactus arms, creating space for your armpits, kind of like a surrender kind of position. Whatever you choose, choose to be at ease. So check your natural curves, the back of your neck, middle to low back. Just check that these feel comfortable and supported. And as you scan the back, the parts of your body, that are touching the ground. And then you can go and scan the parts that are not. Maybe scan your joints, muscles, noticing if there is still engagement anywhere or tension that you may release, especially in the face, the forehead, the eyes, the jaw, your lips, your tongue. breath here in nose and out mouth so like a nice long sigh out so inhale fill up your belly ribs chest inhale 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 hold it and slowly sigh it out two more times Last one, inhale. yourself with love, with gratitude, loving yourself for waking up early this morning, showing up, taking care of your physical body, and all the other bodies, energetic, emotional, mental, spiritual.
hands back to your feet, wiggling your toes, spreading them, rotating ankles, noticing how they feel. And then continue to invite movement to the body however you like, stretching it out. Invite yourself to seated whenever you are ready. Let's finish practice with gratitude. Hands to knees or hands to heart, chin in slightly, bowing to the self in your beautiful temple, your heart, your body. Thank you, thank you. I love you. together to forehead. Thank you so much for being present, trusting me and guiding you through practice.